as a geostrategic region in the world, especially for its oil resources. It is understandable that the countries in the Middle East are equipped with the most smart fighter jets in the world. Egypt is a country that is regaining its air power after 40 years of lagged, becoming a second foreign customer after China of the most modern 4 plus plus generation air superiority fighter, the Su-35. After toppling the pro-Western Muslim government in 2013, the Egyptian leadership purchased MiG-29M medium fighters, S-300 V-4 air defense systems, and a host of other advanced weapons from Russia and Rafale fighters from France. Su-35 is considered the most smart fighter, not only in the Middle East, but also in Africa. Su-35 possesses many modern features, including low-radar cross-section, three-dimensional thrust vectoring engine, very powerful Urbis E radar and compatibility with R37M air to emissions with range up to 400 km and speed of Mark 6. Along with the Su 35 and Rafale, it is likely that Egypt will begin to phase out their F 16s, bringing the Egyptian Air Force back to its heyday in the 1970s. In the Middle East, it is impossible not to mention to rich guy Saudi Arabia. The world's most modern weapons are purchased by Saudi Arabia, such as the F-15SA heavy fighter, a special version from Boeing. The F-15SA is the most advanced variant of the Eagle family, based on the advancements on the Korean F-15K and Singaporean F-15SG designs. More than 70 F-15SAs were newly produced, and 70 F-15S were upgraded to F-15SA standards making Saudi Arabia the leading air force in the region. With that question, the Israeli air force is a powerful force, not only in the region but also in the world. The Israeli air force is also the first and only country in the Middle East, currently owning the F-35 Star Fighter. The F-35 possesses a series of advanced features, such as stealth, very modern avionics and sensors, and cyber warfare capabilities. The F-35 is capable of supersonic cruise, as well as being able to make breakthroughs deep into enemy territory without being detected. The weakness of the F-35 is its weapons bay, which can only carry 4 air to missiles, compared to the 12 missiles of the F-15SA and 14 of the Su-35. Even so, the F-35 still has some serious design flaws which are not expected to be fixed before 2025. Once a big man in the Middle East and have good relations with the US, Iran has previously purchased F-14 Tomcat fighters from the US. The F-14 used to be the most smart and heavy fighter in the Middle East in the 1970s to 1980s. 
Iran is also the only foreign customer of this fighter. The F-14 proved to be extremely formidable in combat, having shot down enemy manned aircraft more times than any other fourth generation fighter. To date, the F-14 has shot down more than 160 Iraqi jets during the Iran-Iraq war, with only three losses. The F-14 in the US was completely destroyed and Iran no longer had a supply of spare parts and missiles for it. Iran still finds a way to upgrade its F-14s. It is very likely that Russia helped Iran upgrade these F-14s and some other aircraft. Iran's F-14s are operated with new radars and air to air missiles. The Fokker 90 missiles on the F-14 copied from the American AIM-54 missile has very high performance, an estimated range of 300 km and a speed of Mark 5. It is one of the most powerful air to air missiles in the world, but due to its heavy weight, early F-14s can carry it. Another type of heavy fighter from Saudi Arabia is the Eurofighter Typhoon, a European co-production. The Eurofighter was inferior and cheaper than the F-15 Eagle, and the purchase of the Typhoon was believed to be mainly for political reasons. However, it has higher features than any F-16 and MiG-29 fighters of the regional countries. Unlike the Eurofighter Typhoon version that Kuwait recently ordered, the Saudi version lacks some more advanced features, such as the AESA radar or the medium-long-range air-to-air missile which means their air-to-air -air capability at long range is inferior to the heavy fighters in the region. My video about the most modern heavy fighters in the Middle East ends here. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos. Tạm biệt và hẹn gặp lại quý vị và các bạn trong các video tiếp theo.